Welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Kayla LaFrance. This week started out with a splash as one Dragon mission comes to a close. On Sunday, September 3rd, the members of NASA's SpaceX Crew-6, NASA astronauts Stephen Bowen and Woody Hoberg, UAE astronaut Sultan al Niadi, and Roscosmos cosmonaut Andrei Fedayev undocked from the space station. Several hours later, the Crew Dragon Endeavor re-entered the Earth's atmosphere and began its descent. Four minutes before splashdown, the Dragon was traveling at 350 miles per hour and was at an altitude of 18,000 feet when the drogue parachutes deployed. And less than one minute later, the main parachutes deployed at about 6,000 feet altitude, while the spacecraft had slowed to 120 miles per hour. Endeavour landed safely in the early mornings of September 4th off the coast of Jacksonville, Florida, after 186 days in space. Teams on the SpaceX recovery ship secured the Dragon and hoisted the capsule onto the main deck with the astronauts inside. Once on the main deck, the crew was taken out of the spacecraft and received medical checks before a helicopter ride to board a plane for Houston to be reunited with friends and family. The next Soyuz mission to the space station is getting closer and its crew is undergoing their final training and checks before they head to orbit. The mission will carry two Russian cosmonauts and NASA astronaut Laurel O'Hara into orbit for their long duration flight. Currently planned for September 15th, 70S will launch atop a Soyuz rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome before rendezvousing and docking later that day to the space station. Live coverage will be provided for all upcoming launches and docking events. So follow us on social media or head over to NASA Television, the NASA app, or the agency's website for more information and times. And that's Space to Ground for this week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.